Hello, welcome to the introduction to Blackboard. I know that every professor you have uses the Blackboard differently. I am using the Blackboard as a way to keep our class together. I always find my students miss most, those who are online or even partially online, they miss most the interaction that they have with other students in the classroom. So let's consider Blackboard a place of interaction. As you can see, your course content contains learning modules, integrity classes, discussions, writing assignments, and a place to take tests. The learning module as you can see, is like a big feast. It's a goodie bag. The learning module is my way of teaching this course for you. Of course, you have your book, and you're going to move from chapter preliminaire to chapter three, but you're not doing it by yourself. You have a professor who's organized the teaching, even the assignments that are due on the book in, in the iLearn, are organized to fit into my architecture of the course, which is 10 modules. That means 10 focuses. So for example, preliminaire 1, this is my screen, it's not yours. In your screen, it's a little different. Preliminaire 1 is being taught with the focus on hearing the French alphabet and the different sounds of French and becoming familiar with those sounds and then reading and even practicing first readings in French. And so, for example, in this case, you need to go to the learning module and open up this, what I call an abecedaire. It's like a list of kind of the alphabet and words that illustrate each letter. You need to open this up when you watch the first integrity class. And then there's all kinds of fun links that are all YouTube links. YouTube about saying bonjour. YouTube, one YouTube about saying comment allez-vous. Another saying ça va. You know, just different parts of a conversation in which people say hello, how are you? There's even a YouTube in which a French girl teaches you. I think it's a really cute YouTube. And another one where a French guy teaches you. Somewhere. Oh, I think it's... Yeah, there, here's the, a lesson from a, an American guy who speaks French, and here's a lesson from a French girl who speaks English for her YouTube people. I try to get a lot of different voices involved so that you don't feel like you're alone, because after all, you're learning a language, and language is about communication with people you um, want to get to know, and it's about communication across cultures. In every learning module, you will find different documents and and, and approaches that I have developed so that the class lesson feels fun and it feels real and it feels interactive. It feels like you're, you're contacting the world, both the world of your little online classroom and the world of French speakers. And there's always going to be one link to the discussion board. Again, you don't have to use the learning modules, although that's kind of like saying you don't have to use the class time with the teacher to learn, do it by yourself, but you do have to participate in the discussions for points. You don't have to watch the integrity classes, but if you don't watch the integrity classes, you're making the class work harder for yourself because you're forfeiting the help of a professor and other fun links. But you do have to participate in the discussions. You can get to the discussion board through the learning module, or you can go directly to the discussion board page. Discussions are always due, you know, on Tuesdays. You'll notice that it, the iLearn is set up to be in phase with the Blackboard. They're both following this kind of learning module structure. Sometimes the learning module may last two weeks. Sometimes it may last one week. There are 10 learning modules, but we have 16 weeks in the semester. 
the begin you start off on a Wednesday and then you start wrapping up by Tuesday although I think you should be posting these discussion boards kind of midweek like around Friday so that everyone can kind of take part and it gives you time to respond to others or to think about what others are saying in the discussion boards so the first discussion board is just introductions that's like the getting started module Here's like the first learning module one. Skits from everyday life in French. And so in this learning module, I ask you to um, give two examples of conversations you have with people. And in one conversation is going to be in the more formal way of speaking, and the other one in the more informal. Now, by the time you're inside the learning module and working with the textbook and the first activities that are assigned on iLearn. You'll understand that this is the major theme. What's different about this activity, which is actually based on one of the textbook activities in your book, this activity is an activity you're completing with your class. It's, it's You're participating in a collective forum, and you're seeing how other people are participating. The rule of thumb for discussion boards is obviously you have to be very polite and professional just as if you were in the classroom with people and don't be too too wordy don't don't write posts that are too long remember that collective when you're in a collectivity you don't say every single thing that's on your mind you're focusing on communicating with others and being useful so every week or every week every two weeks depending on how long the learning module is you have these different kind of communication-based, skill, using skill-based, kind of demonstrative learning um, activities as a class. And, you know, you get 10 points every week, so in the end it's like, it's like 10% of your grade. And I use these topics, these are like interactive topics. These topics are very close to what your speaking exam will be like. The speaking exam is you know, part of the midterm and then part of the final exam. There's two moments in the semester where I'm going to send out a kind of sign up two weeks before the midterm and two weeks before the final. And you're going to sign up for um, phone, phone, really quick five minute phone sessions with me in which we're going to have a small conversation in French just so that I can see that it's not just typing, you know, you type in the discussion board. I also want to see that you are using different um, audio links and that you're actually practicing, you know, by speaking out loud when you come and, for example, learning module two is a, is a kind of round robin in which you introduce yourself and then you introduce one other person in the class. So imagine in our phone conversation, I will actually ask you, comment vous appelez-vous? And vous êtes d'où? Where are you from? And you'll have to be able to respond. You'll also use your time on Blackboard not only to listen to the integrity lectures, um, but also to get going on your writing assignments. You have two. One is a more academic type, the cultural grades paper. You can learn about it here, and you can submit it here. And the other one is what I call a scrapbook journal. Obviously, you're French 101, so it's not really easy to ask you to do a writing assignment in French. But a scrapbook, as you can imagine, there's just little scraps and pieces in it. You can start kind of creating a French writing document. You have um, six different categories that you fill in throughout the semester. New vocabulary and grammar words, geography, some history that you find interesting, culture, politics and government, and stereotypes. You talk, I would like to, you to address three different stereotypes you've heard about French people or the French language and um, offer another perspective on the stereotype. Here's the rubric to follow. The form of your scrapbook is a journal. So when you do the scrapbook, um, as you can see, I can click here, I actually click on the link, and you can start creating journal entries in which you copy-paste different ideas, 
and different words. Um, you can insert images, you can insert embedded media, you can insert mashups, you can um, kind of play with the font, you know, as a scrapbook would be kind of fun and it, like a collage of different ideas that express um, your, your research and your interest, so too is your journal. And the journals are open to people, so people can, can do their own work and they can also look at other people's work. And I think I may do this alongside you because it's fun to, to share. You can contact me using messages, and you can also try to contact me using Wimbo, which is like a Blackboard messenger. If you say, you know, I really need you to get in touch with me, I, I need to, to, to have a little session. Yeah. Oh, you see, I have all of your names here. Oh, and then the tests. You have the midterm, and then you have the final, and you are going to take them at the testing center, because you need to go to the testing center for the password, and also it's part of the regu you know, the regulation of distance learning in Maryland. It's about 30% of the, the grade must be proctored. So you'll go to midterm and final in Blackboard. I explained in the integrity on iLearn about how you work on your on online book <coughs> that I made the midterm and the final using textbook activities. You also, so you have the speaking test that's part of the midterm. You'll sign up for that two weeks ahead of time. And then the listening quizzes, those don't take place on Blackboard. Those take place on iLearn, where you also do your homework and some of your, um, you know, you play around with your book and you use your book. Okay, well, I hope that you enjoy getting started. I've given you your sign up on how to get into um, the iLearn, and you've got your syllabus, and you know, I've mapped out all of the different kind of spaces that we're going to be using to learn together, and the spaces you will be using, and I will be monitoring for your individual progress. But at this point, you really just have to play around. Uh, when you get a little bit confused, it may be because you need to take a break or step back and watch one of these My Blackboard tutorials. But if there's one thing you should come away from with this, you know that you have about 10 learning modules. You have a calendar that reinforces the pace. So for example, You use the first couple days of class to get to get going, and then you've got your first learning module. Oh, actually, I say begin learning module one. Chapitre preliminaire, lesson one. Begin that on Wednesday. First discussion due on the tenth, as well as your homework. Begin learning module two the following Wednesday. And again, the learning modules are my way of teaching you the chapter preliminaire through to chapter 10. I break up, for example, the first part of chapitre preliminaire into almost three weeks. Because that, I find, is one of the most challenging parts of the book. It's the very beginning. Also, I stretch out certain lessons that are the major lessons of French 101 over two weeks. For example, the adjectives, the ER verbs, and the, oh, what's the other one that takes two weeks? Mm, especially, especially the adjectives and the ER verbs. Those are your major lessons. And then the verbs être and avoir. And so everything's paced out for you. You have reminders about when you need to have posted for the discussion. However, this is just for Blackboard. This calendar gives you the pace of the learning modules and the discussions and the assignments that you have to submit in Blackboard. You, for the course content, for homework, and for everything that has to do with iLearn, go to the calendar on iLearn. You have two separate calendars, and they're totally in sync. Okay. Bon courage!